Well, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has disrupted farming in one of the world's most important grain producing nations. But U.S. wheat growers hoping to fill that void, running into problems of their own as those wheat prices rise. News agent's Kelsey Kernstein shows us how farmers are coping with financial and environmental and mental obstacles. Many farmers across the nation with high expectations to produce more this year than ever before with the war in Ukraine and supply chain issues. But extreme weather across the nation is either drying up or washing out their crops. When you don't have the bushels to sell, you don't have the income. High price of wheat doesn't really do a farmer any good that is in a drought situation. That's Kent Lawrence, a Nebraska wheat farmer who says he expects to produce only 30 to 50 percent of his crops this year, blaming dry weather and a severe drought across more than half of Nebraska, Kansas and Oklahoma. It puts a lot of stress and, and uh, worry and concern. Other farmers in North Dakota, a top producer of spring wheat, facing heavy rains, flooding their crops. According to government data, North Dakota is expected to plant the least amount of its farmland on record. Despite the circumstances, according to Lawrence, he says Americans will have enough wheat and enough to eat. Having an active supply of wheat in this country is not going to be an issue. But he says expect those costs to rise exponentially well into 2023. Already, the U.S. average for a bushel of wheat in 2022 to 2023 projected at $10.75, up from a $7 average last year. Breads, pastas, cereals, all expected to rise in prices. To add to the costs, input fees for farmers are higher than ever. Lauren says it's the worst he's seen in his 40-plus years in farming. Kelsey Kernstein, News Nation. Well, soon to come here on News Nation Rush Hour, allegations of a toxic and sexualized workplace culture against a professional football team. Now the owner of the Washington Commanders and NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell are being asked to testify in front of Congress. And coming up in about 15 minutes, new action being taken against the Buffalo, New York 911 dispatcher accused of hanging up on a caller inside the top supermarket during that mass shooting. Stick with us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.